table of camper conversions. Going to do the van tour with you today. This is my Fiat Ducato L4 Maxi. Um, it's a three and a half ton maximum gross vehicle weight. Um, not far off that to be honest, but we've got quite a few upgrades on it. So come and have a look at the wheels. These are BF Goodrich All Terrain tyres. Uh, in that as well, we've had the front suspension upgraded, which was rather expensive. That was by Special Automotive Products. Um, that's to hire the front so that we could level off the vehicle, make it a more comfortable ride. Moving down the van, we've obviously got the uh, side sills. They're uh, side, chrome side bars. Um, on the side here, we've got the water inlet for the tanks underneath. And we've got the electrical point there, hookup point. Um, underneath we've got a 100 litre tank uh, that's mounted underneath the vehicle um, and the electric hookup point we've obviously got 240 volt inside the vehicle as well which I'll go through with you once we get inside. Uh, we've got a window at the back you'll see the reason for that shortly. I do plan to put some black vinyl across the side of the van here but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, moving around the vehicle at the back we've got some parking sensors we've got reverse bleepers that bleep out loud as well in case anybody's behind the vehicle so they can hear and then at the top we've got a reverse camera there moving around to this side of the vehicle again we've got the same with the the side sill the wheels and the tires we've got a window here and then we've also got a side opening window here this one can be opened and closed moving along a bit more we've got the solar light here that is motion detected, so I can leave that on and then in the night it will come on if somebody walks by the vehicle. That'll be handy for the campsite, sort of thought. Then, last of all, moving around to the front of the vehicle, we've got a stone chip guard here. And then at the top, we've got a sun visor. And then above that, we've got a 120 watt LED light bar, which I must say is very bright. Can find any photos of that on i'll add them into the clip shortly so let's move inside and i'll show you around the inside okay so moving inside the vehicle you have to mind your head on this as you come in but we've got um a full-size kitchen this is a full-size 600 mil deep kitchen it's got a solid oak work wood work top which has had uh, Osmo oil treatment that has to be regularly done just to keep the moisture out of that. Um, just at the back here, we've got the filler point for the diesel tank for the heater, which I'll show you shortly. Um, and then obviously, we've got a Belfast sink here. We've got hot and cold water. I'll take you through the water system shortly. This has got a removable shower head so you can clean your dishes and do whatever you want to do there. Um, if I just show you this section before you get into the vehicle, this is a um, double swivel seat. It's got a plate on the bottom that swivels the entire seat around just to give you that extra bit of seating. We've also got curtains to black that off in the night. What we've also got here, as you can probably see, is a CCTV camera. There's another one in the front. We've got a few dotted around the inside of the vehicle, but for security purposes, I'm not going to point all of them out. But they are motion activated should someone try to break into the vehicle. Um, they are connected to the internet which can then notify my phone if we need to know if something's going on um, and that is also connected to the 4G router we've got a Puck 2 aerial on the roof and then I'll show you that on a drone shot shortly when I show you the solar while I'm on the subject of the solar we've got 200 watt of solar on the roof um, so if I move on to the kitchen and show you that we've got um, sorry not the kitchen the, the shower and bathroom so we've got a concertina type door here opening that we've got a thermoelectric shower to prevent scalding this will only go to the temperature you set it to as opposed to a hot and a cold it works as there is a temperature setting and then a power of the water setting um, we've got one of these um, energy saving shower heads these basically filter out some of the water and increase the pressure reducing the amount of water so therefore saving water usage. Um, we've got a Thetford toilet with an electric flush system, which I'll just show you there. Um, and obviously we've got the shower tray at the bottom. 
I'll show you a clip of the um, shower running now and the sink running because I have actually emptied the um, water tanks because obviously the vehicle's being stored at the moment but I have took a video of them working just to show you um, so I'll show you that well, now. It's time to test the uh, water out. Let's go with the cold first. Yeah, we have cold. Let's go with the hot. And there it is, boys. Nice hot water. Pour the shower out next, I think. And there we have the shower. Lovely. And the last thing to check out is the toilet. There we have water. Put the lights on, I'm not going to see a bit better actually. Spot on. So, the next bit to show you is the table here. It's on a swivel leg system, so you can move that out of the way if you want to get past and go to the toilet or anything like that. Um, you can fix it in place underneath. There are um, a couple of knobs you can turn to tighten that up. So, if we take this off, I'll show you that in a bit more detail. That lifts off, it's got a mounting plate underneath, and then that is attached into this leg here, which is fixed into the wall there, which just pulls out, and then that can simply be stored away. Okay, so the next thing we've got obviously, we've got the lighting, um, we've got the lighting on the roof here, we've got more lighting throughout the van, which I'll get to and show you shortly. They are powered off um, 220 watt amp hours worth of battery. That's fed by a VSR split charging system that runs from the vehicle battery so that that can charge the vehicle batteries, the leisure batteries while the vehicle's in motion. Um, on top of that, we've also got the solar on the roof. Again, there's 200 watt of solar there. They run through a 20 amp MPPT solar charge controller, which charges the batteries when the vehicle is stationary. Um, what I found at the moment is there's more than sufficient amount of power running into them batteries, more than is being used. It's therefore self-sufficient it never actually runs flat and i don't see any reason why that should run flat um we've got some controllers in the back which i'll show you now um if i just take it i'll show you we've got this basically tells us how much power the vehicle is drawing and then we've also got this one down here which is a bit more awkward to see but that basically tells you how much power is going into the batteries. And so, um, right, well, that's the next thing to show you. We've got a smoke alarm fitted, necessity in any van build, really. Same as we've got a carbon monoxide alarm fitted here. That is, uh, you know, obviously to detect any dodgy fumes coming off the cooker or anything like that. Um, we've got the 4G router here. Um, and that again is connected to a puck 2 aerial on the roof um, very good signal and I'm using it on the smarty network which is about £10 a month um, for 30 gigabyte of data I think but that seems to be more than sufficient in terms of the amount that we need at the moment uh, so moving on to the kitchen then we've got this um, tray mounted under here and a bit of a bag for vegetables we've obviously got the wine glasses there champagne glasses um, we've got a couple of hooks here um, that's just for hanging your mugs on or, or whatever. We've obviously got the um, hob here, which I'll show you working shortly. Um, and then we've got plenty of storage. So we've got some storage up here. And then we've got more storage down here. So there's plenty to store your bits and bobs in. And then moving on to the base of the kitchen, we've got first cupboard here oh I'm gonna to have to show you these bottles in a minute because that's really good we've got the plumbing system in here pretty water there from where I was testing it yesterday and we've got the diesel tank there which again the front part is around the other side of the kitchen so these I recommend to buy to for anyone to buy because they're quite handy for uh, saving the, the space you've got a bowl which sort of collapses down and then this is a, a dish drainer which you can put your dishes and your knives and forks on or whatever and drain drain out from there and they, they took away neatly in the bottom of there and then moving down to the next section we've got a drawer here which got some bits and bobs in there at the moment but there will be um you know a cutlery tray and everything in there when that's finished in the bottom cupboard down here um we've got the pump system it's a trial king pro 7 
pump system which goes into an accumulator the idea of that is so that you don't get buffering on the water system um, we've got two shut off valves one is for the water inlet and then the other one is to feed the shower and the toilet the other side of the vehicle and then the last cupboard door we've got here at the bottom if you want to uh, have a look in there is again just some more shelves and we've got a, a 12 volt vacuum cleaner at the bottom of course keep the things tidy and then here we've got a Dometic CRX50 fridge the way this works is it's got a separate freezer compartment there like a household one but this can be removed and you can turn this into a, an entire fridge or an entire freezer um, we've got an LED display panel here which, it, which obviously is quite simple to use you've got different temperature settings there four different settings you can use it as a fridge or a freezer or both which I will likely be using it as both just for ease we'll turn that off and so moving on to this section we've got the electrical cupboard here so inside here we've got the 12 volt system which I seem to have left the cover off but the 12 volt system there 240 volt system there and that's still got yet to be a bit of wiring to be finished with that but with the majority of the way there on the roof here as you can see we've got a max fan um, this comes with a remote so the remote is just over here and this is the remote that we've got for it so you can control the speed settings you can control whether it's blowing in or out so you can use it for cooling or for an extraction system for the cooker um, we've also got these lights up around the top here some little fairy lights everyone's got to have a few fairy lights as they say so we'll just unplug them for now. There is actually a remote for them here, um, which you can change different settings on, but I don't tend to use that too much at the moment. And then we've got a light over the back here. Just gives a bit of extra light if you're reading in bed and whatnot, along with this, we've got a small window there and the blind system. Um, this here is a remote control for the diesel heater system. Um, so if I spin you around and show you that, I've got that switched off at the moment, but. So here we've got a tank test system that tells us how much water is in the tank, obviously not a lot at the moment. And then we've got, that's the light switch for the bathroom, and then we've got the diesel heat control system here. Um, so moving on to the front of the seat here, we've got a 12 volt USB, um, USB plug here for charging your phones and a 240 volt plug socket. And then um, I'll show you inside of that and so underneath the seat here what we've got is basically the service yard if you like we've got the it's a 10 litre hot water propex tank that's powered 240 volt only which so it will only work on hookup to have the hot water we've got the diesel heater which runs through two vents one comes out the front here and then the other one runs out into the garage the reason for the garage part is that it will heat the underside of the bed and it will also um, stop anything wet such as wet tents or clothes from camping going mouldy underneath there um, we've also got down here the battery system and the solar MPPT charge controller We've got an isolator switch for the diesel heater If you're wondering how you access these batteries this section actually comes up under here and these slats come off So you can actually lie across the bed system here and work on that there um, So if we just put this back on I'll show you what the idea of this is so at the moment this is obviously a seating area but it goes underneath there and the length of this entire thing is six feet six feet long so it is actually a single bed as well so another person can sleep across there ideal for a child but you know a, 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 an adult could I guess sleep on there as well um, and so then that brings us to the bed at the back the bed obviously is um, a full double bed it's not a small double it's not cut down it is a full size double bed the width of the vehicle is around six foot four um, so we managed to fit a full double memory foam mattress across there um, which has more than sufficient amounts of space and so there's one more thing to show you here at the back of the vehicle we've got a skylight here with a blackout blind and then we can also put a mosquito net across stop any flies or bugs coming in but that opens straight up into the i'm not going to open it now because i'll have to climb the bed really to do that so we'll now move around to the back of the vehicle right so at the back it's pretty straightforward there's not a lot to it really we've got the lpg system here if i move around we've got the lpg bottle in here which is as per the regs mounted to the wall with two fixed points we've got it mounted to the floor and the wall with a strap around it and then at the back here we've got a bulkhead regulator 
and then we've of course got the dropout vent all this has been made airtight so just shut that out. and then if anyone's wondering what this bag is it's basically two leveling ramps um, I'll show you the picture of that in a minute but it's basically a pair of leveling ramps and these are big beasties so we've got a pipe there at the back just that that white pipe there I'll show you it's part of the drainage system which I'll show you in a minute um, and then that's removable that pipe we need to take that out which again I'll, I'll explain to you shortly but got a bit of storage space there at the back and then this section here we've just got a small cupboard here the idea of this is basically for storing things like you know a fuel can um, wheel brace first aid kit and then any breakdown tools a few bits and bobs tools or whatever and then this side we've got um, just an air vent for ventilation we've got the heater vent here um, I have got to put a do not blocks on on there and do a bit more painting under here but we have pretty much got the gist of it there and then we've also got this switch here which switches on the light underneath here. If I just show you up around the back, it is just a simple LED strip. Just caught my missus in that bit of footage, but we should be all right there. <laughs> um, oh, and there's another 12 volt system up here. If you look here, we've got, switch this on, we've got the battery monitor there. We've also got some USB sockets there. And then we've also got this because I might be fitting a TV down here. So that'll be for that. At the top there we've got a shelf for putting your phone on and leaving that on charge whilst you're asleep and whatnot. But I might be putting a TV just over here. If I do that it will be plugged into there. We've got a pipe there. And that pipe, that black cap in the end, is unscrewed. And that long white pipe I showed at the back would be basically screwed into that. And we've got the tank and all the other bits underneath there. So guys, this is the solar system we've got and that roof rack system was made out of unistrut and just sprayed black pretty much we've got another small solar panel here which is powering one of the cameras and that's about so that it, is definitely about it really for today so uh, yeah again if you like the video like and subscribe and um There'll be more van builds to come um, as I said in my previous videos I am starting up a business doing the conversion so it will be a bit more professionally filmed and a bit more professionally built in future but as it stands at the moment this is just for, for information purposes really so I hope you like the video like and subscribe um, and I'll see you again soon guys thanks